Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about balance transfers and how it could help you pay off your debt. So let's talk about it. So as we've said on our channel before, we had about $5,000 of credit card debt. Um, of that $5,000, we did not pay interest on any of that. Um, most of, well, some of it did consist of a balance transfer that we had did um, on that card. So if you don't know what a balance transfer is, it's something that allows you to transfer your debt from one account to another. It doesn't necessarily have to be from credit card to credit card. You can also transfer debt like loans, student loans, personal loans, anything that you want to pay off. So the benefit is that you are taking advantage of a lower interest rate. Typically, it's 0%. Um, typically, whatever debt that you already have, your existing debt, typically would have a higher interest rate. And then you're wanting to transfer that debt from this account to another in order to take advantage of a lower interest rate or 0%. Um, how it shows up to the existing debt, it shows up in the form of a payment to them. And then that debt is then transferred to another account. So typically you do have to pay a very small fee which typically it's worth it in order to take advantage of that zero percent um a lot of different places typically newer credit cards will have like a three percent fee or something of that nature and then you get the zero percent um the kicker is that you definitely want to make sure that you get that full balance paid off by the time that zero percent expires um because there are some cards out there that might end up backdating the interest and making you pay the interest on the full balance that you originally had transferred. Not all cards are like that, but I've heard of it. Um, so that's something that you definitely would want to do. Interest is something that is definitely can increase your minimum payment. It also increases your debt amount. Um, if I were you, I would definitely take a look at your statement, your credit card statement or any statement where you have debt, um, typically they will show you, you know, what your balance is, and then it shows you off in the corner. If you continue paying your minimum payment, this is how long it would take you to pay it off. This is when you would pay it off. And that's typically because of interest. So I wanna show you what that looks like if you haven't seen it right here. And then I'll also show you what the balance transfer typically will look like on your statement um, if you do end up transferring one. Like I said, we took advantage of it a long time ago. Um, and so this is what it can look like. For someone who has a lot of credit card debt, and I would say anywhere from 5,000 on up, I definitely suggest taking advantage of a 0% balance transfer credit card um i don't really suggest you know opening up a new card for the purpose of anything besides that just because i know that if you've gotten that card credit card debt before you probably could do it again so um there's tons of cards out there honestly if you're someone who monitors your credit like has credit karma i know they will often give you um, examples of cards that have like a 0% introductory interest rate or 0% balance transfer. Um, I would take a look at that in order to see which one might be best for you. But that's something that I would definitely suggest. If you're someone who has, who carries a balance every month on your credit card, I would just take a look at your last month statement, um, the line where it tells you how much interest you paid on that month alone. Think about what you could have done with that money instead of giving it back to the bank just for nothing, basically just for interest charges. Typically credit cards, I've, I've seen some of the higher interest rates on any type of debt out there. So it's definitely something I would take advantage of. If you're someone who does carry a balance each month, it's definitely something that you're gonna have to change your mindset. Yes, you could stop the bleeding and move that debt from one card to the other, but are you that type of person who's then going to begin spending again on that card? Or are you someone who can say, okay, I got an all this credit card debt once, I don't need to do it again, let me stop this card usage if you're someone that you feel that you can't really control it. So that's something that I would ask myself if I was in that situation where I had thousands of dollars credit card debt, 
definitely ask yourself that, you know, ask yourself, is it something where I even need to have a card anymore? Maybe you might think about closing it just for the betterment of your finances. So if you're someone who doesn't have the opportunity to get a 0%, um, 0% credit card right now or balance transfer card, I would also contact your credit card company, talk with them, ask them if there's any opportunities that they have to lower your interest rate as far as payments goes and helping with repaying that balance. Because um, as someone who used to be in collections with credit card industry, um, I know there are some places have a lot of different opportunities for lowering that payment, lowering that interest rate to help you pay that back. So definitely contact your credit card company, have that open line of communication if that's something that could help you. Um, or if that's something that is that would be better rather than a 0% balance transfer, um, I also suggest that. And then with balance transfers, like I had said before, um, it shows on the existing debt side as a payment. If you're someone who has a payment coming up with that company, definitely make sure that minimum payment is fulfilled because I do know that it can take around 10 days, at least 10 days or so um, for some companies for the payment to show up on that side. So in the process, we don't want you to be late on your payment or anything like that. Definitely make sure your minimum payment is fulfilled um, before taking advantage of that. That's it for today, guys. If you are someone who's taken advantage of a balance transfer offer, um, comment down below. Let us know how it went for you. Were you able to pay it off by that expiration date to make sure you did not have to have any additional interest charges. If you haven't had a balance transfer done before, is it something that you would try? Thank you for watching today. Again, please subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.